Good afternoon. We would like to start our program in 10 minutes. If everyone can start gathering, we have reserved seating for our major donors, for our deans, for our president's executive team members. So look for your names and please start to gather.
If everyone could please find your seats, we're about ready to get started. And that is a bright sun. Whoa. <laughs> I hope I can. Yeah, it, it's harder to see on that side. But you can see it. I need to get my sunglasses out. The sun is so bright. Mm. Oh. Okay. Well, welcome. We are so glad you're here. To start off our program, would you please turn your attention to the video screens? 
It is truly my pleasure and honor to announce that Wayne and Kay Woolsey are making a $2 million gift to the geology department and a $10 million cash gift to the home of the Barton School of Business, our new building, for a total outright cash gift of $12 million. My parents have always thought of Wichita as their home and wanted to make it a better place. They believe that a great business school facility at Wichita State the strength of Wichita's workforce and our economy, and that is worth investing in. Exciting is a word that's tossed around all too casually these days, so I'll find some other words to try to describe my thoughts about this project. I'm ecstatic for our dean and faculty and staff who will be inspired and invigorated in a dynamic, energized environment where we will see them do their work. Well, good afternoon, and again, thank you so much for all being here today to help us celebrate. It is a great day to be a shocker. My name is Elizabeth King, and I have the privilege and the pleasure to serve as the president and CEO of the Wichita State University Foundation. As you saw in the previous video, if some of you were here, that was maybe the gustiest day I have ever experienced in my life in Kansas. Uh, but to me, it just sort of um, symbolized the, year, the two years we had to follow because we have soared ever since over these last few years. I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, one of my very favorite books was The Little Engine That Could. Anybody remember that story? Raise your hand. All right. Very favorite. It is a tale of persevering through challenges. The little engine never gave up on its mantra, I think I can, I think I can, as it pushed over the mountain. And for many of us, our mantra has been, we think we can, we think we can, which soon became, we know we can, we know we can. And sure enough, here we are today. 14 years ago, conversations began about finding a new home for the W. Frank Barton School of Business. We knew that Clinton Hall was no longer meeting the needs of our business students. And it wasn't a building that could adequately serve the students of today, and then the students of the future, and now they are the students of today. Well, soon after our conversations, we saw the first physical plans for what the new business building could look like. I will be honest, those drawings don't begin to compare with the beauty of the building that we are in today. When we asked Steve Fellmeyer and Jay Smith to chair our fundraising committee, we vastly understated the time commitment, but they stayed with us all the way. Steve isn't able to be with us today, but Jay Smith is here. And Jay, if you would please stand and let us thank you. Because of their work and the, the work of many that I'm about to introduce as well, in, in the years to follow as we developed out the plans for this building, we took numerous trips literally across the country to look at other college campuses that had built business school buildings in the last few years. And I promise you, Woolsey Hall is the most beautiful business school building in the country today. I promise you. But we had a... <laughs> Thank you. 
We had a great committee, and I, I really would like to thank um, these individuals. Some of them honestly worked with us for a period of about seven or eight years. And so if each of you would stand when I call your name, and then we'll acknowledge everyone after I have done the introductions. Paul Allen, Fred Berry, Bruce Brown, Dr. Anand Desai, who was the dean when we started this venture, Sandy Hasinger, Tom Kirk, Bill Lappin, Bill Moore. Now, I know some of you are here. Stand up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Marilyn Pauley. Thank you all very, very much. Wayne and Kay Woolsey's generosity was the true spark that led us here today. In addition to their lead gift of, as you heard earlier, $12 million, in the past year, the Woolsey family, working with Wayne, made the decision to contribute an additional $1.3 million to create the Kay Woolsey Gardens and enhance the Woolsey Technology Fund. So that brings their recent giving to Wichita State University to $13.3 million. That is amazing. So our, our hats off. And in addition, we had over 200 individuals, corporations, foundations um, come forward and help us uh, to bring this project over the line. Sadly, Kay Woolsey passed away several years ago. Wayne is not able to join us today, but we do have a large contingency of the Woolsey family who's here. Would everyone who is a Woolsey please stand and let us recognize you? Woolsey family, please stand. And I would also like to recognize Scott Frazier, who's the president of Woolsey Companies. I've seen him earlier, Scott. Thank you. <laughs> Scott was so helpful as we continue to work on this project. So we are very grateful, as I said, for all the donors. But we um, specifically wanted to recognize a few of, well, all the donors that were at the seven-figure and higher level. And again, I would really appreciate it if you would stand, because it means so much to us that you're here. So I will introduce them, and then we'll applaud at the end. From Cargill Protein, we have Randy Carlgren and Misty High. And that resulted, back here, and that resulted in the Cargill Cafe, which is just fabulous. We also have um, Sharon and Clark Bastion, and the Bastion family were so supportive, and also Fidelity Bank and Fidelity Foundation. That's fine, let's apply. <laughs> and from Oklahoma, we have Bill Betker. Bill, if you would please stand. Right here. <laughs> Not able to join us today, but again, significant contributors are representatives from the Sunderland Foundation and Stephen Regine Fellmeyer. And now finally, and some of you may be standing up here, if you gave $5 or more to this project, I would love all of our donors to please stand and let us thank you, because it took all of you. Please stand. And now if you would turn your attention to the video monitors, we would like to share with you our philanthropic journey. What tipped this project was when Wayne Woolsey said, I want to support the Barton School of Business and I want to do the lead gift. Without them, we would not have had this project. But also, without the 200 plus others, foundations, corporations, alumni, friends, who also have been engaged, we would not have this project. So I am so grateful. So very, very grateful that we've had such a large number of people come forward and say, we know that this is important and we want to be a part of it. My sister decided about you know, 10 years ago or more that she wanted to honor our father uh, with a gift to Wichita State University. After she passed away, uh, I told her that I would backstop her pledge. and. Uh, and fortunately, I was able to do that and, uh, and very happy that I was able to share in this gift that uh, 
Jane made. And Frank Bedker's name has honored it. The people that came together to support this initiative of this beautiful facility, uh, my hat's off to them. They, uh, they saw a worthwhile cause that they wanted to donate to, as did I and my sister. And I'm just very pleased that we have an outstanding result from, uh, from their generous giving. It's a beautiful building. I mean, it, it truly is. When I entered the building, there were students exiting the building and those students had smiles on their faces. And uh, I mean, that, that's what you hope for. And there are a lot of people that deserve some, some recognition for that. And to the Woolsey family, I, the reality is we would not be here if not for their generosity. It is wonderful that you've got a leading business person in the Wichita business community with their name on this building. I mean, how appropriate is, is that? Wichita State is the most important economic driver for our city and the region. And having this wonderful Woolsey Hall for students uh, is truly amazing. I've been involved with the Dean's Advisory Board. And I'd just like to express my appreciation to Dean Jenin. And she has put her heart and soul into the school and this wonderful Woolsey Hall. I very much want to thank those who have big hearts for this university and the Barton School. I love it. It's clean, it's, it's contemporary, it's modern. It's not brick and old and, you know, makes, makes you kind of want to take some classes again. And, you know, this time I'll try not to just get a C or a D. Uh, take that out. <laughs> the things we're going to be able to do here are it's stuff we've never done before. And that is exciting. So I'm, of that, I would say that's where I have the most pride. Wayne graduated, got his bachelor's from North Texas, his master's from Texas A&M, but he's lived here in Wichita, I think, close to 50 years. It made me feel really good that he picked this project to make this major contribution that he did. And it shows an attachment, I think, to Wichita uh, and to Wichita State. Now, he's, you know, he always never got rid of his, his Texas accent, but I think he's a Kansan now. The school needed it to be upgraded. The, the old school was built back in the 50s and um, Clinton Hall had just run its course. It was not conducive to students. It wasn't conducive to recruiting students. And equally important, it wasn't attractive to keeping the students once we got them. So we had to have a new school that had the right technology, the right atmosphere, the right culture, um, not just for the students, but for the professors and everybody else associated with the school. And it was important to us as a couple to give back and to watch the new generation grow and be very excited for the future. And we're just really happy to be a part of it. Being a Barton graduate and WSU graduate, uh, I'm happy that we were able to help with the school when they were needing some money to get the program done. It took a long time, but it came together beautifully. I don't think I'd change anything with it. I remember being a student here that the greens and the flowers were always tended to and put up and it was just such a nice relaxing thing to have when you could sit outside amongst all the beautiful flowers and things while you're hectically running between classes or you know after a class but the garden that we're putting in out here for K Woolsey is going to be a great place for students just to unwind and absorb more of what they can do and what they know. Woolsey Hall is a dream that started almost a decade ago and it wouldn't be possible without the generosity of Shocker Nation. Your gifts helped transform the dream into a reality and I speak on behalf of all of Shocker Nation when I express my sincere appreciation. This would not have been possible without your support. And I'm deeply humbled and honored for your support. Well, it is almost surreal to watch a project like this to reach completion. From the first conversation to the first sketch, the first gift, 
to the groundbreaking ceremony, and now this beautiful, complete building around us. And there have been countless hours by so many who are here today. We had a true design team partner in the Gensler and Gastinger Walker team. They understood the vision that we had for this building, and they rose to the challenge to create the masterpiece that it is for Barton School and WSU. Would the representatives of these firms please stand and let us thank you for your creative hard work. So Donlinger Construction rounded out the team, and we have several representatives from Donlinger who are here today. Richard and Steve, where are you? Please wave or stand. I heard you were here. Somebody's here. Somebody's. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. And we are also grateful to Mike Michaelis. Mike um, came in a little bit toward the end. We'd already kind of gotten the, start, the process started, but helped us pick out beautiful works of art. All of the art you see gracing these walls is from Kansas artists. In fact, I know at least Kirsten Shannon is here, uh, one of our artists, but um, Mike Michaelis, please stand. Let us thank you for your volunteer work. Appreciate it so much. There you are. There are also many on our campus. In fact, I, we'd be here all day if I named everybody. Um, but there are so many on our campus that helped um, provide leadership. But key, I do want to thank WSU Vice President Werler, Werner Goling, as well as Executive Director of Facilities Planning, Emily Patterson, and Todd Wollenscroft. Would you please, the three of you, please stand? Thank you so much. And Emily, if you would stand up again. I, I, there are just really no words to describe the hard work, the diligence, the creativity, the um, nonstop thinking about every single detail from the tile on the floor to the light fixtures to the TV monitors to the furniture. Um, Emily, I, we can't thank you enough. So really appreciate all you've done. Uh, finally, to the WSU Foundation Board, who gave a grant of $1 million uh, for, from the unrestricted reserves, as well as financed all of the pledges. Um, the board chairs that sort of carried us through this time period were Paul Allen, Dr. Debbie Haynes, and Dan Peer, and our current board chair, Lynn Nichols. You don't need to stand, but many, many thanks to you. And a special word of thanks, again, the entire foundation team has been involved with this, but I'm going to call out two individuals. Uh, Jesse Rainey is the Senior Director of Development for the Barton School of Business. Jesse, it's just really hard to find people. Somebody tell me where she is. There she is. We thank you for your hard work. And Kara Johnson, who's the executive director of the Donor Experiences, she is the one from, I mean, literally every sign had to be spelled correctly, had to be in the right place, all of the activities for today. We could not be today here without Kara Johnson. Kara, there you are, right here to the left. While the building itself is what brings us all together for this grand opening, it is only a piece of what we are celebrating. In truth, we are celebrating the strong future of Wichita State, the Barton School of Business, and the support that this building will provide to the students and faculty and staff for generations to come. Please, again, turn your attention to the final video. One of the students approached me and said, there's something wrong with this building. And I said, what's wrong with the building? And the student said, well, I can't get out of it. And I thought to myself, wow, that's just beautifully aligns with one of our design principles, which is focused on warm, hard hearth. And we really wanted to create a magnetic place for students, faculty, staff, our industry partners to gather and 
create this meaningful journey for everyone involved. In Clinton Hall, students would show up in your class and then they would immediately leave the building. Now our students are around all the time, which is a whole lot of fun. You get to see students outside the classroom and it's just, it's a better environment for all of us. I love sitting in the lobby and watching the students' faces. They walked in and were so taken back, so surprised, but so happy to see that this was their home. But when I walked in, it was just, it was a sense of awe. It was just astonishing what this building became. Thinking back to Clinton Hall, uh, whenever you go to class, it, you go down these dark hallways that are just set up 10 feet apart, doors on both sides, and you're going down this alley almost. But here, all of the classrooms are kind of in this open layout so that you come out and students can flood into one main area and all be together bump into each other and have these spontaneous interactions. Since there's so many spaces to hang out, it's just hard not to run into someone to make new friends and to collaborate. I think it's really mission critical to have a cutting edge facility for today's global business environment. And that is what prospective students are expecting when they land uh, on our campus for a campus visit experience. Having Woolsey Hall now where we can bring prospective students through is gonna make a real difference in how students perceive our approach to business majors. I have an internship with Airbus and it's so great. I, can, I just go to work in the mornings and then when I have class, I walk over to Woolsey, I go to class and then I go to back to work. Having these international partners on campus is amazing. Woolsey Hall has been built with state-of-the-art technologies, sustainable materials, and the shocker spirit of innovation that will continue to serve and support Shocker Nation for generations to come. I'm excited for the current and future student who will benefit from a dynamic facility, for the faculty and staff who will be inspired and invigorated by it, and for the community and connections and partnerships that will flourish inside it. It's more than a building. It's a destination place to make it a very holistic experience for the students and really developing the next generation of business leaders who have innovative, visionary, entrepreneurial mindset and also who will be creative and artistic. And to think that this building is all these students will ever know is just incredible. Dr. Larissa Jenin is now starting her fourth year as the Dean of the W. Frank Barton School of Business. And from day one, she has pushed for Woolsey Hall to be a showcase piece. Almost a direct quote, worthy of being on the front page of leading architectural magazines. And we add, worthy of our campus, of our city, of our state, of our nation, of for our students. And um, I will tell you, before our plans were created, um, before she came in working in our plans, none of us had come up with the idea of having a bridge. And I know it's called the Promise Bridge, but some of us call it the Larissa Bridge. So please join me in welcoming to the podium, Dr. Larissa Jenin. Good afternoon, everyone. I am absolutely thrilled to be here welcoming you all to this space today. As Elizabeth mentioned, it's been a long journey to get here, but for myself and the rest of the Barton School faculty and staff, that is, this is the beginning of a new and blooming journey, and we thank you all for that. The Barton School of Business has achieved much in recent years, including holding a dual AACSB accreditation, something fewer than 1% of business schools worldwide can claim. And achievements like this are only the start. We have big dreams for the next five years, including rising to be recognized as top 100 business schools. Standing here in Woolsey Hall, that dream feels within the reach. Over the few months we've spent here, I've seen students embrace Woolsey Hall as their home away from home, a place they feel safe to challenge themselves, to grow, and to thrive. 
Our goal to provide all students with access to applied learning means when they graduate, whether with their undergraduate or graduate degree, they are more than prepared to enter the workforce. Many of these students complete internships that turn into full-time jobs, removing the stress of the post-graduation job search. Wayne and Kay Woolsey Hall will have will help usher in a multitude of new businesses to partner with through guest lectures, distinguished speakers, executives in, in residence, entrepreneur in residence, and cooperative education opportunities, which will give our students even more exposure to some of the largest companies in the world. Our classes here emphasize practicality and realism. We are not just teaching students concepts from a book. We're teaching them real world examples and helping them apply them in outside of the classroom. Applied learning is not just a part of Wichita State's mission. It's something we actively do to help our students meet the expectations of the business community. I would like to personally express my deepest gratitude and appreciation to Wayne and Kay Woolsey, to Woolsey family, to Wichita State University President Rick Muma, Wichita State University Foundation President Elizabeth King, Executive Vice President and Provost Shirley Lefevre, Vice President of Finance Warner Golling, my colleague, partner, and producer, Executive Director of Facilities Planning Emily Patterson, Jesse Rainey, the Senior Director of WSU Foundation, other Wichita State University leaders and partners, each and every donor, all supporters, contributors, participants, artists, Gastinger, Walker and Gensler architectural and design firms, Don Lurgan construction team, and many, 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 many other individuals and companies for making this project dream a blooming reality. Thank you to my family for making it possible for me to be all in on this project and this transformational journey. One way we ensure we stay ahead of these expectations and emerging trends in higher education is through the help of the Dean's Advisory Board in the Barton School. I refer to them as Fabulous 50. You know why? Because they're fabulous and there's 50 of them. The Dean's Advisory Board serves to advance the mission and strategic priorities of the Barton School. By sharing ideas and making recommendations, this group of 50 distinguished business leaders helps to ensure the growth and development of the school and its commitment to excellence. Clark Bastian, chairman of Fidelity Bank, did a phenomenal job for the past three years in his role as the Dean's Advisory Board Chair helping our school expand the board to 50 fabulous members, as well as leading the team to a new level of excellence. I want to thank you, Clark, for your service on our board as the chair, your continued engagement as our fabulous and distinguished board member. Your leadership has been outstanding and your partnership is invaluable to Wichita State. This year, Margaret Deccan will take the reins as our chair of the Dean's Advisory Board. As a CEO and partner at Six Meridian, Margaret is a powerhouse, a recognized and admired leader. Clark, please know your work is in good hands. Margaret brings her knowledge and passion for the Barton School and WSU to her, to her appointment. Please join me in welcoming Margaret here today. Thank you, Larissa. Uh, good afternoon. As mentioned, my name is Margaret Denkett. I'm the CEO and a founding partner of Six Meridian, an investment and wealth management firm here in Wichita. Although I'm a graduate of Nebraska, I moved here many, many years ago right out of college and have called Wichita home ever since. I also adopted Wichita State very early on and my husband and I have been avid supporters on many levels ever since. As a business owner in Wichita, my company and I have a vested interest in doing all that we can to support higher education, particularly for business students, and to help provide opportunities in this city for our young professionals. I'm honored to chair the Dean's Advisory Board and have very big shoes to fill to help continue the growth and development of the Barton School of Business. Individually and collectively, 
our board will work together to provide benefit for students, the faculty, and the greater Wichita community. I'm so thrilled for the future of these students, you students. As we look around this new building, it's clear the future is very bright. Written on these walls are the names of people who believe in you, the names of people who support you, the donors and partners who are invested in what the Barton School is all about. Opportunity, advancement, and reaching your fullest potential. It's an honor to have the opportunity to work alongside brilliant business leaders and minds in the pursuit of making the Barton School one of the preeminent business schools in the country. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Dean Jenin, and thank you, Margaret. Thank you both for your leadership. As I mentioned, Wayne and Kay, of course, with Kay's passing and Wayne's health, are not able to be here, but we really believe um, that this building surpasses their dreams when they made their original gift, and we're really thrilled that their son, Mark, representing the Woolsey family, is here to speak to us. Mark? Thank you, Elizabeth. I don't know what I can say that hasn't been said already. Even though Wichita State was not their alma mater, the city of Wichita meant a great deal to both of my parents, whether it was by joining the school PTO, coaching little league games, helping with various construction projects with neighbors and friends. They enjoyed helping out where they could. They believed in the importance of education, not only for their children, but for anyone who wished to learn more and broaden their horizons. For that reason, I think they would be incredibly excited to see what to see they helped Wichita State in such a way. Personally, as a graduate of the Barton School of Business, I am glad that Woolsey Hall will be its amazing new home. On behalf of my parents, my sisters and brothers, and the rest of the Woolsey family, we would like to thank everyone for contributions in making Woolsey Hall a shiny new part of the WSU campus. Thank you. Mark, thank you for being here today to honor the legacy of your parents. I spoke earlier about the length of this endeavor, and we could not have asked for a better partner to take us over the finish line than President Rick Muma. He is a visionary president and a tireless advocate for creating the best learning environment possible for our students. Please join me in welcoming President Rick Muma to the podium. Well, good afternoon. My, 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 my. So what do you guys think of this facility? It's awesome, isn't it? You know, yesterday we had some breaking news about our enrollment, combined enrollment, almost 22,000 students between all of our campuses of Wichita State and WSU Tech. This building will further our goals in terms of enrollment. And, and mark my words, um, you will see additional students come to the university because of facilities like this, the support that we have from donors, all of you that are here, and we so much appreciate it. So Rick Case and I welcome you to Wichita State and thank you so much for being here as we celebrate all of you, your generosity and the building you helped us build. I do wanna take a few minutes to uh, thank some key individuals, especially thank you to Wayne and Kay Woolsey and the Woolsey children, Mark, Matthew, Cheryl and Carla, as well as Dr. Elizabeth King and her staff who secured the private dollars for building this facility and especially Elizabeth, who kept the dream alive all these years during the difficult times that all projects like this have. Also, Emily Patterson and her team, who kept us on track with realistic expectations. We laugh about this and talk about this regularly, so thank you, Emily. And finally, Dr. Larissa Jenin, Dean of the W. Frank Barton School of Business, who you've already heard from this, this afternoon, who led the charge and along with many of her faculty and staff that resulted in this beautiful building. And then finally, John Rolfe, chairman of the Kansas Board of Regents, who uh, is also here with us today. John, you're somewhere. Uh, uh, there he is, raise your hand, John, so they can see you.
The Wayne and Kay Woolsey Hall is remarkable in so many ways. As you walk through the halls and explore the collaborative spaces, every nook and cranny of this building was planned with intention and purpose. As the first, first LEED certified building on WSU's campus, it features rain gardens for stormwater management, electric vehicle charging stations, and high efficiency irrigation controllers. Overall, the buildings with LEED certification are shown to consume 25% less energy and 11% less water than typical buildings. And we're proud that Woolsey is a model for many of our projects moving forward. But what might not be obvious are the many nuanced ways Woolsey Hall will support the growth and prosperity of Shocker Nation and the Wichita State vision and mission. With state-of-the-art technologies, classrooms, and meeting rooms, our students will have the space and the inspiration to learn, explore, and grow into the professionals who will fuel the talent pipeline that sport supports Kansas businesses and the overall prosperity of our state. As industries and businesses and other partners from across the globe take notice of the Wichita State points of difference, Woolsey Hall will be a powerful tool in fostering new partnerships. It is a tangible signal that Wichita State is strong, we are growing, and we are thriving. And finally, with its location on our innovation campus and adjacent to our technology ecosystem, Woolsey Hall is perfectly situated to accommodate the research and collaboration necessary to address the challenges and rapidly changing needs of an increasingly and complex digital world. Indeed, Woolsey Hall is a remarkable building befitting of a premier urban public research university. And it's thanks to all of you that we're able to make it a reality. Without question, we could not have built this without your support. But the truth is, it's not limited just to Woolsey Hall. The success of Wichita State University rests solidly and securely on the shoulders of Shocker Nation. I speak on behalf of all of Shocker Nation when I share my very sincere gratitude. Your generosity, passion, and commitment to Wichita State are the cornerstone of our achievements and our potential. Thank you so much. What a humbling moment it is to stand here in front of this huge crowd of shockers to mark this special occasion. Today's celebration highlights and is a tangible reminder of our mission to inspire a lifelong passion for learning and our help our shocker students become the best version of themselves with integrity and responsibility at the core. So at this point, we are going to have our ribbon cutting. And then after the ribbon is cut, um, the ceremony will be officially over, but we will have an open house until 4 o'clock. And we've got food and music, and we'll be able to do tours. And there's a photo booth over here with lots of signs that you can use for photos. And I'm waiting for Kara to tell me how we do the ribbon cutting. Found was. This is absolutely off script, but if we could just count down three, two, one together, we'll do a ribbon cutting. Um, and so I'm cueing our sound as well. Ready? Three, 
two, one.